everyone, my name is Jonna Ruth and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Sino sa inyo yung mahilig sa movies? At sino sa inyo yung ayaw sa spoiler? Malamang lahat tayo ayaw sa spoiler. So ayun na nga, sa movie, kapag nandun ka na sa part na may tension at yung bida ay nasa point na maraming pagsubok, nag-rise yung action, mas nahuhook ka sa movie at iniisip mo ano kayang mangyayari sa huli. For the movie to be enjoyable, it has to make you forget that you're watching a movie and immerse you into the story. Iiyak ka, matatakot ka, magagalit ka, maiinlove ka, malilito ka. Iisipin mo, ano kayang nasa isip ng writer? Our Bible verse for today is one of my favorites and it's Jeremiah 29.11 which says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Very often in life, we think that a blessed life means that things are going well for us. Okay ka? May bago kang phone? Feeling blessed for my new bag? Just got promoted. Hashtag feeling blessed. We think that blessings are only in the good things. So when we experience hardships and trials, we think that God is not blessing us. What if your blessings come through raindrops? What if your healing comes through tears? What if the thousand sleepless nights are what it takes to know you're near? What if trials of this life are your mercies in disguise? God's blessing is more than just a new phone, a new car, a new house. God's blessings are not just material things. So, hindi ibig sabihin na dahil dumadaan ka sa hardships and trials, hindi ka binibless ni Lord. When we go through the scriptures, we will see God promising blessings to His people. However, such blessings would require people to do something. Gagamitin ko ulit na example yung gift. Kapag may nagbigay ng regalo sa'yo, syempre tinanggap mo. Para malaman mo kung ano yung nasa loob, kailangan mong buksan yung regalo. Meron kang kailangan gawin bago mo makuha yung regalo. For example, for Abraham to be blessed with many descendants, he needed to obey God first. God's blessing requires trust and obedience. He knows His plans for us. Plans to prosper us and not to harm us. Plans to give us hope and a future. He just requires us to put our faith in Him, to trust in Him, and to obey Him. There are many blessings in life that don't look like blessings at first. So when God said to Jeremiah that He has plans for us, He doesn't mean that those plans do not include trials. And those plans to prosper you do not only include the good things. Paano mo masasabing overcomer ka kung wala ka namang pinagdaanan? Only when we go through these trials do we learn to rely on God. Pag andun ka na sa conflict ng movie, tapos tumataas yung aksyon, nae-excite ka lalo, iniisip mo, ano kayang mangyayari? Pag yung movie, then ito lang, mula umpisa hanggang dulo, boring. Ganun din sa buhay. Pag walang trials, boring. Kaya kapag may pinagdadaanan tayo, hindi ibig sabihin na hindi tayo binibless ng Panginoon. May nakalaang blessings hidden in these trials. So, if something isn't happening the way you want it, it's because God has something behind it. He loves us and He will never harm us. He wants to teach us something. He wants us to develop and strengthen our faith. He wants us to trust in Him. 
And then, in the end, these trials will be our testimony. So, huwag kang atat. Ayaw natin ng spoiler. Alam na ni Lord yung ending. Huwag kang mag-ask for a spoiler. Enjoy the movie. Pwede kang umiyak, pwede kang matakot, pwede kang magalit. Maiin love ka, malilito ka. But when you trust in the Lord, at panghahawakan mo yung Jeremiah 29.11, ma-enjoy mo yung movie, at sasabihin mo sa sarili mo, ang ganda ng kwento, ang ganda ng pelikula. Siguradong maganda yung pelikula dahil alam natin kung sino ang writer. Kaya chill ka lang. Ayaw natin sa spoiler. That would be all for today. Again, this has been John Ruth and this is me, Living My Purpose.